Welcome everyone. Today we are in a breathtaking place called Overveen. Overveen is situated next to Haarlem. Haarlem is in the north of Holland. And today we are invited in the estate of Elswoud. Last year, Brenda Muster, Miss World Netherlands 2019, has had a bust of Kristap. This was meant for the auction of Beauty with a Purpose. And that was held in London past year. This year, we are so proud to be back here because this is really a nice spot. Not only the park and several little bridges where you can do amazing shoots because it's open to the audience. So when you are in the Netherlands, come to Overveen and visit this beautiful place. And now we are going to go back to the Head to Head Challenge because that's the reason we are here today and some other days to interview group one, two, three, four and five. Some of them are in quarantine because of COVID, which was, by the way, negative tested. But even then, they must go in quarantine. We prepared five teams, and those teams are education, health, tourism and culture, equality and diversity. The girls are prepared. And I think we will see some very strong groups. Today, we are starting with one group. And that group you will see in our episodes on YouTube and our social media channels. We have Beauty with a Purpose and they will get the question of their Beauty with a Purpose, but this is only the kickoff. We will see their personalities in their intros and we will learn more because we have some facts and some things we discovered about them they don't know, we know, so we will ask them a small question. Last but not least, all the young ladies within Miss World Netherlands 2020-21 received a list with women from the past and a list with women that still matters today. From those women, they will get questions of us. So we will get them to the final questions. Are they strong enough? to be that ambassador for the Netherlands and can they knock you down with the information and their personalities? Let's find this one out and start the head-to-head -head challenge. Group one is ready and they will get questions in the theme equality. The ladies competing in this group are Iris van der Mars, Dilai and Asha. We start the introduction of Iris van der Mars. My name is Iris van der Mars. I'm 26 years old and I'm living in Amsterdam. Recently I've adopted a puppy and her name is Bella. We love to walk around in the park. I do yoga also and kickboxing and 10 years ago I also played soccer and dancing. I love to travel around the world and discover different cultures. I have my bachelor degree in fashion management and right now I'm working as a personal fashion stylist. My beauty with a purpose is about body confidence. During COVID-19, especially teenagers are getting isolated with social media. I want to bring awareness that picture perfect does not exist in real life. Beauty comes within different sizes, colors and shapes. Everybody counts. So thank you so much, Iris, for your introduction. A while ago, you adopted a puppy called Bella. So how did it go and why did you adopt a dog? Well, it's a funny story about Bella. Uh, a few years ago, during my holiday, we found a lost shelter dog on the street. Uh, we took care of her and uh, we called her Bella. Unfortunately, we couldn't take her home and we found a new family for her over there. Uh, and a few weeks ago, I found a shelter puppy online on social media scrolling. Uh, and her name was also Bella. So it, it, lo it looked like she was meant to be. So we are very glad we have adopted her. And she's super funny, playful, smart, stubborn, and a super cute puppy, so. And she has to learn a lot, you've told me, right? Yes, yes, a lot. She <laughs> sometimes pee on the bed, but nowadays it's going fine. 
Yeah. Oh, she pees on the bed. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> well, that's a nice fact to know. Thank yeah. you so much for that. Uh, Aisha. Hi everyone, my name is Aisha Sipman, a young ambitious woman who grew up in a small village in the east of the Netherlands. At a very young age of 17, I moved to the big city Amsterdam to start my study at the Amsterdam Fashion Institute. From that moment on, I had a dream to travel to factories all around the world and manage production for multiple fashion brands and learn from new cultures. After visiting factories in China and Bangladesh, I came across the most polluting industry where we're all contributing to. And then my new goal in life started, making the fashion industry more sustainable and the younger generation conscious about what sustainability really means and creating awareness regarding their buying behavior. Although I have a big passion for the fashion industry, I want to get involved in this with a purpose. And that's why sustainability in the fashion industry is my beauty with a purpose. So yeah. thank you so much, Aisha, for your introduction. And also for you, we have a nice fact for the people to know about you. Currently, you're not here because you're in quarantine because of COVID. How is that so? So uh, unfortunately, my roommate, she got tested positive. Uh, so for that reason, I have to be in quarantine for 10 days. So unfortunately, I could not join this meeting live, but now we can do it online. So that's good to know. And you tested as well, right? Yes, but I tested negative. Wow. So you're living with a person in the house, which is tested positive and you are negative tested. Yes, yes, correct. But I moved to uh, my boyfriend's apartment to stay here that time. Uh, so we will not be in the same area uh, during yeah, the quarantine of 10 days. Well, we're looking forward because your quarantine is almost over. Three more days, right? Uh, yeah, it's still coming Wednesday, so three more days. Okay, nice. And what about your Beauty with a Purpose, Iris? Because you have been working a lot on your Beauty with a Purpose. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, uh, my Beauty with a Purpose is about body confidence. Uh, during COVID-19, especially teenagers are getting isolated on social media. Uh, but in real life, picture perfect does not exist. Uh, so beauty comes within different sizes, colors and shapes. And everybody counts. That's my Beauty with a Purpose about. Yeah, that's true. Is that the reason also you applied for Miss World Netherlands 2020-21? Yes, that's the reason. And because I'm a stylist, uh, I get uh, in contact with many people and I heard them complaining about it. So I'm worried about it and also about the teenagers now. So, so you want to make a good statement? Yes. Yes, very nice. Thank you so much, Iris. Aisha, you also have a very nice beauty with a purpose. You told me about it yesterday and the days before. And I would love yeah. to hear from you what your beauty with a purpose is. So my beauty with a purpose is making the fashion industry more sustainable and the younger generation more conscious about their buying behavior. And this all started during my fashion, in, uh, fashion career. I visited many factories in China and Bangladesh, and I, create, I came across the most polluting industry uh, where we're all contributing to. Uh, so I want to start projects to make people more conscious about what sustainability really means. Um, I want to support uh, companies to keep the essence of sustainability during this pandemic. And I want to, uh, to create a collection uh, which contributes to the circular economy rather than fast fashion. Okay, and we are all working with the uh, United Nations promoting yes. the SDGs. So which SDG is yours to promote? So I actually have more SDGs to promote. Um, so if we improve our buying behavior, uh, we can create a more sustainable production. So we have to reduce chemicals and by this we improve the nature. 
uh, we have to improve working circumstances and achieve clear drinking water for everyone. And these are the sustainable development goals uh, My Beauty with a Purpose is about. Very, very nice. And Iris, I forgot to ask you as well, which SDG is yours that you're going to promote as an ambassador for the United Nations? Sustainable development goal number five, that's about equality. Uh, and because uh, it's about women empowerment and I want to let every woman shine and uh, not compete to men. So that's about number five. Wow, beautiful. So that's why it's called Beauty with a Purpose. So this is so, so nice. Next to that, you also have both a team and that team that you've got from us is equality. And in this equality theme, I'm going to ask you a question, Iris. And your question is, do you find that everyone should be treated equally? No, uh, I think everyone is unique and needs different support from our society to create equal opportunities. So depending on your childhood, uh, education, health or other circumstances. Okay, thank you so much for your nice answer. Asha, also your team is about equality. What would you change in the current policy so people will respect each other so much more? Yes, so I think there should be more space for open discussions and the appreciation of each other's opinion without violence. Uh, as violence should never be involved in case of demonstrations uh, and the freedom of expressions uh, because with the use of violence there is no chance to win respect. Wow, that's a great answer Aisha, thank you so much. You both have got a list with strong women from the past and women from now. What women did you choose, Iris? I choose Suze Grunewijk. And because, she, yes, because she is the first woman uh, in the second room in uh, 1921. She uh, became a member of the parliament. And uh, for me, she is an example for other women to enter politics because, yeah, because and now sorry you said because because of what because it is important for women to have a voice in public so i love i like the well, woman empowerment for that and it is, it is a strange fact because nowadays it sounds strange for me but uh she made a change uh of uh she added a bathroom in uh, the building because before they did not have a bathroom for women in the parliament so that's a funny fact kind of and she made a change about uh the in holland we call it the speech from the throne uh before her uh it was only the voice to men and she made a change that it was uh for everyone to woman and to men. So that's a good change she made. Okay, great. And you also have chosen a woman, Angela Merkel. So yes. she's quite a woman that you choose there and she's very powerful. She's the first yes. Dutch female leader in Germany. So she's really great and fantastic to look at. But why did you choose such a powerful woman such as Angela Merkel? Well, because she is so powerful nowadays, uh, she's already for 15 years uh, in her leadership. So that's quite a big, day, a big deal. And her power is that she does not emphasize her female identity. She is modest and knows how to place herself on an equal level with men. So that's something I think is super inspirational for us women, for girls uh, to look at and to go after her. 
Yeah, and she's doing a great job for multicultural people in Germany, right? She does a lot for also. diversity, so she's very important for that kind of people. Okay, yes. thank you so much, Iris. What a good answer. And you. Asha, you also chose two women, one from the past, and you chose Marie Antoinette. Whoa. Yes. I'm very surprised with that choice you've made. Well, because she has quite a resume. She was a caring mom of four children. She lost two, though. Built a reputation, not always that good, if we can say, uh, no. say so. Uh, she has been appointed to be responsible for the fall of the monarchy in France. So what is it that attracts you in this woman to choose for her? Yeah, so although the reputation of Marie Antoinette was not always that good, she made very clear that she was going to live according to her own rules. And with her strong personality, uh, she is an inspiration for women empowerment. And her own extravagant uh, style has been an inspiration for many people and designers. And also for me during my study at the Amsterdam uh, Fashion in, uh, Industry uh, Institute. Uh, she showed the world that being different and uh, having your own opinion gives you power and uh, makes you independent. Wow, what a strong answer, Aisha. Congratulations on that. And you also have been choosing a woman from now, and that's Naomi yes. Klein. She's a whole other person that you've been choosing. Uh, she's a journalist, an activist. She wrote many books. And yeah, tell me why did you choose her? And is this something that you chase as well? Yeah, so I have chosen Naomi Klein because her critical point of view inspires me. Uh, how she looks, for example, at multinationals. So she argues that large multinationals uh, consider the marketing of their brand name to be more important uh, than the manufacture of a product. And this is exactly what is happening right now. Uh, so is the uh, sustainability policy of a company um, a marketing strategy or is it the way the company operates? And that is exactly what my Beauty with a Purpose is about. And I want to create more awareness about this and learn people how to look at this from a critical point of view. Okay, wow, ladies, what a great job you've done. So powerful. I'm so pr proud of you. So we are finished and um, yeah, we will see you soon back in one of the activities of Miss World Netherlands. Iris, I wish you a very, very nice holiday because you were in Tessel celebrating with your family some days away. And Aisha, good luck in three more days of quarantine. And yes. we we'll see you soon, both of you. Love you. And till later on. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. See you. But there's a group of three fantastic young women. And we're firstly going to look at the introduction video of Delay. Hi, my name is Delay. I'm 20 years old and I live in Eindhoven. I'm semi finalist of Miss World. My biggest passion is dance and I also like to do modeling and sing. So as you know right now who Delay is, because you just saw a fantastic introduction of Delay, we are about to meet her. Come along, let's see where she is. Hi, Hi. Delay. Hey. So nice to meet you here. Yes. So we need to keep the distance because of COVID. But we have a nice fact that we want to ask you, as for the audience, they get to know you a little bit better. The question we have prepared for you is, you do a lot of photo shoots, so you're modeling a lot. What is the mo most exciting about those jobs you do in modeling? Yeah, so every shoot has a different concept and different concept, you have different clothes. And in the normal life, I wouldn't wear all of that, all that clothes. So I see 
uh, I see different sides of me and that's really nice and after I see the end result I'm always like shook because I think oh maybe that's nice to wear in my normal life too or yes that's the thing that I that's that's the thing that I really like of the shoots. Wow fantastic so you can transform at any time and then see the results after. That's very nice, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are not only here to talk about your personal life and what you fancy and everything around that, but also you have a beauty bit of purpose. Yes. Tell us about that. So I want to raise awareness about mental illness and I want to stop the judgment about mental illness. That is so nice, but tell me something more about those illnesses and what you really want to achieve with your beauty with a purpose. Yes, so a lot of people are judgmental about uh, someone who has depression, schizophrenia, uh, all, you have a lot of diseases. And I want to stop the judgment and I want to uh, raise, raise more awareness. I would like to uh, volunteer and um, watch in a, a physical institution if I can make an improvement. Yeah, so I want to work with billboards and I want to help people who are struggling with um, how they're feeling and I want to, yeah, uh, I'm an example because I had a depression too and now I'm here, I'm, um, I'm getting stronger every day because I'm working on it and I want to help other people who are struggling with that too. At what age did the depression with you start? I think around two years ago. And yeah, it was, yeah, it was, uh, if it was a diff difficult time in which I struggled through. So you are an example, but what about the care trajectory? Was there any way that people cared for you at that time? I didn't tell it to a lot of people only to my closest people and they knew it but I didn't want didn't really want the help from them I just was in my mind like I want to get better I want to feel better I don't want to feel bad I want to get through this and with that mentality it helped me a lot because if you think that every time and you uh, keep staying positive your mind and your body is gonna see that too so in that way I get through it because I told myself to get through it. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this is fantastic. If you are in a disease and you can struggle through it, but still come back so confident, she's an example. And you know what? Her beauty with a purpose just started. So I would suggest to you all to keep on following the lie because she comes back with a movie and a video of her beauty with a purpose. But that's not all because, Delay, we also have a team in group one yes. and Iris and Asha already did that. And now it's up to you. The team in group one is equality. What can be changed or improve uh, to have less discrimination? Um, I want to start a campaign uh, also with the billboards and on the billboard there's a mark do you speak up when you witness discrimination and I want uh, for people to think about that so they can change their own behavior if they don't speak up or think about discrimination more because not everyone sees it on a daily basis and I think it's really important because uh, people, uh, other people have it like every day and struggle with it every day because maybe of their ethnicity or their gender. So I think it's the best way to confront them and that can you do with the billboards. Wow, that's a nice initiative. So you got a list of women out of the past and you choose Aleta Jacobs. Yes. She's a strong one you choose there, right? Yeah. What did she do? She became the first female doctor and besides that, she made a new law in 1990 that the women have right to vote too. And that's a really nice thing because till this day, 
uh, because of that, the uh, women, the women have a voice now because of that law. So next to the women you just choose for the past, we also have a woman that you needed to choose from now. And you picked Hilde Mattelaar. She's from Belgium. What is so interesting and why do you admire her? I think she's a power woman because she just, um, she dedicates her whole life to help women. These were women uh, who, who were in the war and who were sexually abused. And she helps them and gives them advice and helps them to start their own campaign and to start their own business. So I think it's really nice to see that she is not helping only women from her own country, but uh, leaves her own country to help other women. I think that's really nice and really beautiful. And really uh, powerful. Really powerful, yes. Power women, yes, <laughs> that's so true. Yeah. So with all that, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished group one head to head challenge. And I can tell you those stories from the beauty with a purpose, from their teams, and also from the women of the past, the women of today, we can tell the next power woman are right here within Miss World Netherlands. Stay tuned because there's more coming up. Thank you so much and see you next time. Don't miss the episodes because this is only the start. And if you want to know who's going to be the winner, subscribe to YouTube and do not miss anything, any news, any update. Follow us on social media and you will get the best of us.